Hi, this is Becky Spieth, Direct Sales Specialist in the Christian Direct Seller, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about being pushy. One of the new things I'm going to be doing for the next several weeks is taking your questions. And this question came in from Amanda with from Arbonne, and so I just wanted to be able to answer her question. If you've got a question, feel free to email it to me at Becky at BeckySpieth.com. Put in the subject line, question for newsletter, and I'll be happy to take your questions and answer them in a video and send it out each week. This way here, we can make sure that we're on the pulse of what you really need to support you in your direct selling business. This week, our question does come from Amanda from Arbonne, and she asked, you know, how do I get bookings and how do I get people to join me in the business as business partners without being pushy? Because I just don't want to be a pushy person. This is a great question. I have to tell you, I've heard this many, many times this week, just coaching my clients alone. So I wanted to make sure that we address this specifically for you. You know, one of the things that I think we get confused about is we, when we're focusing on being pushy, are focusing on ourselves. I don't want to impose. I don't want to come across as being pushy. I don't know that I feel comfortable talking to someone else. Well, the thing is, is we're focusing on what are they going to say and we're thinking about all these fears which are really false evidences appearing real. And we're not really focusing on how we can serve our clients best or serve the other people around us with our incredible business opportunity, our incredible and awesome hosting opportunity, as well as our fantastic products. I think for a lot of us, we think, you know, what's being pushy? You know, my own agenda, only thinking about myself, um, wanting to make sure I only get the sale or get the clothes, and just kind of talking about all about us. I think if we shifted our, our perspective, it would make a big difference. I don't know about you, but um, last time I checked, uh, we weren't twins. I, can you see him really good? Um, we aren't twins. And this is kind of, I think, what we have in our own minds, is that we're like a greasy 1970s used car salesman instead of really coming from a place of serving. Listening to the life of the other person, how you can best serve their needs, find that need, serve it, and fill it with what you have to offer either with your business opportunity or hosting opportunity or even your product. Unfortunately, in our quest in not to be pushy, we actually come into this the point of where we're actually being controlling. I know, hang on just a second. You're thinking, I'm not controlling. I don't even want to be pushy. But the thing is, is what we've decided by focusing only on ourselves and not how we can serve other people and our clients best, and you know, maybe we have to stretch our comfort zone a little bit, we are focusing on ourselves versus them, and we're actually becoming controlling. Now, how are we being controlling? We have basically decided, you know what, because I don't feel comfortable, or maybe I'm insecure, or maybe I just am not sure what to say, or I don't have the skill level developed yet in learning on what to say and how I can serve them best, although I just told you. Um, we sometimes instead, we decide that, you know what, they don't deserve to send their kids to college, or to karate, or dance lessons, or piano lessons, or to have the new car that they deserve, or have the down payment on their home, or buy a new lawnmower, or refrigerator, or sofa, or recarpet their home, or whatever other reason that they might want to come into our business. We also are telling them that, you know what, they don't deserve to have their girlfriends over for a fun time. They don't deserve to rest and relax and really learn about what we have to offer in our products and be able to save a ton of money through most of our hosting opportunities. That's controlling. We've decided that because we don't want to share with them, we don't want to listen to their life, we don't want to find the need, help them find a value or benefit, and then connect it with our company, that they don't deserve the things that we all enjoy. So I hope this has helped change your perspective just a little bit and you can take and apply these principles to bookings, to upselling, as well as to in, uh, inviting people to join you in, in your business. In addition to that, it's also a great way to focus on inviting people to move up into the ranks of leadership within your company. I hope this has been helpful for you today. I hope that you really decide that you're going to listen to the life of someone else. You're going to see how you can help them. Explore it together and let them choose. Because what's the worst thing that can happen? You've added value to their life. You've probably brought a smile to their face. And you've let them know that somebody really does care enough to offer them what you know is the greatest business opportunity in the world, the greatest shopping opportunity for them to get free, half price, and other bonuses, or just enjoy your incredible product. 
I hope that this has blessed you. Send your questions in to me, Becky at BeckySpeed.com, or you can message them to me at Facebook on one of my business pages. The first one is The Christian Direct Seller. The other business page I have is Direct Sales Specialist. I look forward to serving you and seeing you next week. And feel free to pass this along to any other direct selling friends that you know. And don't worry about it. You won't be pushy. You'll just be sharing something of great value and they'll appreciate it. Just like as if you were telling them about a great movie, a great sale on a great pair of shoes, or even a really incredible Mexican restaurant, which is one of my favorites. God bless you. I'll, take, I'll see you real soon. Take care. God loves you and so do I.